So our chips are aimed at the good for people and the good for planet. They are used in systems uh, and following the natural trend uh, of the society and the industry. Automation, digitalization, electrification of cars. Our chips being primarily sensors are somehow the ears, the eyes and the touch that the human being cannot do at that time in this application, these systems. And we uh, use, we develop this chip and they are being used in this to make it accurate, performant, efficient. Example I can name is a recent release we did for a temperature sensor contactless that is in a smartwatch uh, and that is uh, monitoring the temperature of the body as an application uh, with health uh, possibility control, uh, even for example, the, the, the ability to, uh, to measure the, the, the menstrual cycle uh, of women. It's all about people. Today, yesterday, tomorrow, it's about people, competence, and good people. So at the beginning of the 90s, the young group that Malexis was part of decided to invest into uh, locations where the technical competency was available. And in the, we used the, uh, the approach towards the ex-communist bloc technological pole, first in Erfurt in Germany, in East Germany, and then in Bulgaria, in, uh, first in Botovgrad, and then in Sofia with uh, the, the first company we created called Sigma Delta in the 90s. Yeah, there is always ups and downs that we have to go through. Uh, I would name the, the, the one that comes to my mind is, is the, the period 2008, 2011, uh, which is because it's a combination of two factors. We were ending a first cycle of uh, fast and rapid growth of the site uh, with a lot of new people, a lot of new activities coming in. Uh, so where we need to settle and stabilize a bit more, as well as starting and facing this uh, global financial crisis uh, that the whole world suffer from, where it was a crisis that we didn't control, it was out of our control, but we had to pay the consequence of it. I have to say that we went through quite some uh, successful moments, but I would name the last one, which is the, uh, the start of this new premises, this new building, the period 2021-2022. It was a long project, uh, but it's uh, this project and the outcome of this project is uh, a good success uh, as a result, as a building, as an environment to work, but as well coinciding with a period where the team is growing, the competence is growing, uh, the number of chips being developed is growing, and the number of chips tested is growing as well, so pretty uh, fast growth running. This is a question that I would not dare to try to answer. It's too complex to be able to predict in the crystal ball today. Uh, 30 years is too far away. There is too much running elements at the moment that make it impossible. In the coming 5-10 years, I would say, yes, it would be normally going OK because and we will be continuing growing. Chips are needed everywhere, uh, in every application, every system. Uh, so we we'll continue to deliver these chips and our, the, the, the business projections are, are very positive. So the site will continue to grow and we continue to develop chips.